Unfortunately, there was one time my friend was telling a story and he got animated and put his hands up like this. Uh -huh. And Pax just like lunged. Was it like a one two or did he go? Yeah, yeah. it was a one two. It was. But there's the hands thing you were talking right. about. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It can be agonizing for the owners during a home visit. Like, I'm just here setting off their dog. But in reality, I'm getting key information. What are the dog's triggers? What's the threshold for stress? We feel very stuck in life and with him. I feel bad saying It's like he just puts this, like, darkness on everything, and it's not his fault. We care about him so much, and we have a very strong feeling that if we give him up, or, or that he'll probably get put down. Yeah. Rayanne's not wrong about this. The majority of the dogs that get put down in Los Angeles are pits and pit bull mixes. So turning this around for Pax is a matter of life or death. I want to move to a different experience for him, and that is with me sitting here. But other than that, I just want to see what it's like for him. It gives me a place to start from. Let's stay there for a moment. OK. Long end of the leash, thank you. Okay, there it is. There's the stillness, and now he's, there goes the ears. Right, he's ready to pop at me. Pax has been barking and growling at me, but now he's gone still and silent, which for a lot of dogs means they're about to attack. He's definitely trying to work an angle. Hand me that long end of the leash behind your back. I promise you I'm not here to hurt you. Okay, let go, I got it. Don't want to hurt you. I just want to see what we can do, okay? In order to help diffuse Pax's aggression towards me, I approach him with a calm energy and a non-threatening manner. Let's sit down. We got to do this together, OK? I want him to read my energy and downshift. There's the stillness that his pupils are so dilated. Yeah, you want to lunge at me when I sit down, don't you? But he's still seeing red, and he can't learn when he's in that state and being edgy. Yeah, it's too much. He's one of the more dangerous dogs that I've worked with. 